Wow. <laughs> wow. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? While some of us have known each other only through the occasional class or passing in the hallway, many of us have built close relationships over the years that will last many more in the future. I, like many of you, have developed many close friendships with these for these past few years. This, this echo is a bit confusing for me. I don't know about all you, because I hear my voice first, then I hear my voice again. I'll try to continue here. <laughs> Let's see. Along this journey from adolescence into adulthood, we've gained a lot of valuable experience and shared many things together. Other than things like classes and memories, we've shared things like behavior, attitudes, and habits. One of these habits that we all have shared at times is procrastination. Procrastination can be a deadly thing. It may have caused us some small problems so far in high school. You know, putting off things like papers, projects, and homework until it becomes very difficult to create successful work out of it, which then in turn results in a poor grade for us. I am as guilty as anyone. As many of you know, I put things off like crazy. In fact, I was just finishing up with this speech less than a half hour before I came. <laughs> but I suppose I have gotten lucky in a lot of ways for the most part. But procrastination is destined to cause us all much greater problems in the future. From this point on, procrastination may no longer lead to us failing a test, but failing in our lives. We must realize each day that today matters. We must not wait to take advantage of the lies that we were given. Just as fast as high school has gone by, we'll see the next five and ten years go. I wouldn't want to be the guy that comes back to the ten-year class reunion after squandering since high school and says, Man, where the heck did the last ten years go? <laughs> Seems like I was just at graduation thinking I had my whole life ahead of me. I need to do something with my life before it's too late. Let's not be that person. Today is the beginning of opportunity and the chance to prove ourselves in the real world. There are no more excuses. We are, we are now all beginning from this same point here, about to receive our high school diploma. For the past four years, we have been pursuing excellence in our education. Well, the pursuit does not end now with our end at Firelands. We need to pursue excellence in all aspects of our lives because our future is now at stake and the world is not going to wait for us. Many of you that are leaving high school today may not be fully confident for your success in the future because you didn't get the highest grades or the best ACT score. Well, the average millionaire today was not speaking at his graduation at the top of his class, nor was he getting a full academic scholarship to Harvard. The average millionaire today scored the equivalent of a 26 on their ACT with many scoring below the equivalent of a 21. The average GPA that today's millionaire carried into college was a 2.9. Few of these millionaires define a high level of intelligence as a major requirement for them to reach success. However, they do agree that integrity, discipline, hard work, passion for your work, and courage are the most important factors that attribute to their success. Not getting the best of grades in school, they say, is what fuels you to work harder. Having a passion for your work allows your creative intelligence to emerge when it may be dormant in other areas. And courage. Courage is the factor that allows you to separate from everyone else by taking that risk that leads to success. I would now like to share a short story about a bird that did not reach his success potential because he lacked the courage to pursue his dreams. Once upon a time, there was an eagle's nest that rested on a large mountainside that contained four large eggs. One day, an earthquake rocked the mountain, causing one of the eggs to fall down and roll into a chicken farm that was located in the valley below. The chickens knew that they must protect and care for this eagle's egg, so an old hen volunteered to raise and nurture it. One day, the egg hatched and a beautiful eagle was born. Sadly, however, the eagle was raised to be a chicken. Soon, the eagle believed that he was nothing more than a chicken. The eagle loved his home and family, 
but his spirit cried out for more. While playing on the farm one day, the eagle looked to the skies above and noticed a group of mighty, mighty eagles soaring in the sky. Oh, the eagle cried, I wish I could soar like those birds. The chickens roared with laughter. You cannot soar with those birds. You are a chicken, and chickens do not soar. The eagle continued staring at his real family up above, dreaming that he could be with them. Each time the eagle would let his dreams be known, he was told that it couldn't be done, and that is what the eagle learned to believe. The eagle, after time, stopped dreaming and continued to live his life as a chicken. Finally, after a long life as a chicken, the eagle passed away. You become what you believe you are. I urge all of you, graduates of Fyowens High School, not to follow in the steps of this eagle. If you ever dream to soar like an eagle, follow your dreams and not the words of a chicken. <laughs> Set high but reachable goals and never stop believing that you can achieve them. And as you leave here today, remember this anonymous quote. The man that aims at nothing is sure to hit it. May God bless all of you and guide you into the future. And remember, the opportunity that he has given you to be great has not passed, but it has just begun. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. After the statistics on ACT and GPA, I think I still got a chance of being a millionaire. <laughs>